Senator Xenophon. Mr Acting Deputy President, and because of the limited time available for this bill, because of the guillotine, I will truncate my remarks significantly. I indicate my support for this bill. Uh, I believe it is overdue, and there have been multiple past inquiries, as Senator Stevens has pointed out, in relation to this. I see this bill as helping the charity sector. I take into account what Senator Boyce has said about having unnecessary red tape for those smaller charities, and I believe this bill does have a tiered approach in respect of that. I think that we need to define charitable purposes and therefore a benefit to the public. At the moment, we go back to England's Charitable Purposes Act of 1601. It's been, it's been around for more than 400 years, and we actually need to have some sensible codified reform in relation to this. We've seen how in New Zealand more recently and for a number of years in the UK how they've had a Charities Commission in place, and I believe it has worked effectively to, hold, uh, to support organisations and to hold those very few rogue organisations into account. We know, uh, and I direct members, uh, members uh, of the Senate to some of the decisions of the Charities Commission in respect of that. I draw Senator's attention to the excellent work done by Professor Gino Del Pont of the University of Tasmania and his paper, The Uniqueness of Charity Through the Prism of Public Benefit. I was lucky enough to hear his presentation earlier this year. I can't, because of time, discuss what Professor Del Pont said, but basically he gives a very good explanation of the history of this, and I believe it, it strengthens the need for legislation such as this. Um, it's important to note that a similar test of public benefit exists in other countries, uh, UK, New Zealand, Singapore, a whole range of jurisdictions around the world. And why do we need it? Because occasionally there are organisations that abuse that tax-free status. This is not about belief. This is not about advocacy. Uh, this is not about impinging on, a, uh, on anything like that. But it's about making sure that an organisation that abuses the privilege uh, is held to some measure of reasonable uh, account. And having a public benefit test is important in relation to that. Let's make it very clear. The benefits that we give to charities are between one to eight billion dollars a year, according to a Senate economics inquiry that I was part of, that I instigated in relation uh, to looking at uh, the Tax Act and the public benefit test. But imagine where would we would be as a nation without the benefit of charities. Um, I, I dread to think how many uh, bureaucrats it would take, no disrespect to bureaucrats, or uh, those from a, a large corporation to set up a soup kitchen because the work that charities do is invaluable and the cohesiveness of our society, our social fabric, uh, would, be, would be torn uh, without it. Uh, I believe that this act is, and the bill is an evolving uh, measure. Let's see how effective it is. Let's see if it needs to be fine-tuned in years to come. But I believe the principles are sound and I believe that what we see here uh, is a useful piece of legislation that will hold organisations to account. And it would be remiss of me to say in the remaining 20, sec 20 seconds that I became interested in this field because I was approached by a number of victims from the Church of Scientology, uh, and I believe that all organisations, uh, if they are behaving in an abusive manner, uh, ought to be held to some measure of account, and a public benefit test is a useful measure of that. Thank you, Senator Zenef.